for the Spurs, they unload the problem that they were having with Kawhi Leonard. In return, they get another all-star in DeRozan. It keeps them competitive in the West. It also gives them a talented young big man. Jacopono had his moments last year for the Raptors. Under that Spurs system, he should get a chance to develop and flourish even more. And the Spurs were also looking for some kind of asset to help replace Kawhi Leonard. You're never going to replace an all-star MVP caliber player like Leonard, but they got a future first-round draft pick that they can use to help rebuild this team at some point if it's necessary. Now, for the Toronto Raptors, President of Basketball Operations Masai Ujiri took a bit of a gamble here trading for Kawhi Leonard. Leonard has just one year left on his deal, and there's no guarantee that he remains with the Raptors after next season. So, he swung for the fences, hoping he can get Kawhi Leonard into Toronto and show him this is the place to play for the future. Yeah, well, DeMar DeRozan made a commitment to Toronto. He really enjoyed playing for the Raptors. There is a huge basketball community that loves the Raptors. Playoff games in Toronto are exceptional. DeRozan had found a home there. He made that commitment. And as my colleague Sam Amick is reporting, DeRozan was informed as recently as the Las Vegas Summer League that he wasn't going to be traded this year. And so that probably comes as a shocker to him. On Kawhi's side, I know he had his preferred destinations, but he wasn't in charge of where he was going to be dealt. The Spurs, once they found out that he wanted to be traded, their obligation was to get the best deal possible, regardless of where Kawhi wanted to go. Let's look at it. Kawhi just has one year left on that deal. So if he doesn't want to play in Toronto, all he has to do is stomach one season with the Raptors. He's a free agent. One year from now, he can pick any team he wants. There was no guarantee he was going to get dealt to the team he wanted. This uh, is a business. No matter how emotionally attached you are to a team, a city, your teammates, there comes a point where players and teams are going to go separate ways, and that's what happened in this instance.